Greetings everyone, CCX here. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we ended up literally going out of our way to get the special charts. And now in this part, we're going to get ourselves another special chart. And hopefully gather more information of more treasures. It's a good thing, well, before I actually leave this area, I, before I actually go out of my way to get that area, I'm actually shock your asses, still ain't up there, like, seriously, why? Eh, whatever, I'll probably fix that later. Um, what we want to do first is, ah, here it is. We want to go ahead and lift this, throw this, so we can actually open this hole. This hole, fun, f in the original game, was also sporting a Triforce chart. I'M WASTING TIME! <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, this area also had a Triforce chart inside it too. Now it no longer sports a Triforce chart. In fact, I don't know what the hell sports in it because there was no point in coming into this area anymore. I love how the only... Oh yeah, that's right, it's... Th th yeah, this was another pointless area that you needed to literally traverse through. And, yeah, it was technically the major problem that people had with doing the Triforce charts because you had to do very annoying, tedious tasks. This was one of them. You literally had to do this a bunch of times. You did fight some very interesting enemies, but other than that, though, that's pretty much all you're fighting. And the, the problem with this is that, you know, you have the Mass Assert, so all the enemies are just going to drop like flies. That's great. But it also ends up meaning that there's not really much of a challenge for you to go through. And that can be, that can be like bad for some people. Like many other people don't really care for that that much because, you know, it, it's whatever. Like I said, you have a choice to 100% this game. You don't have to. You'll hate yourself if you don't, but you don't really have to. It's, it's either your choice. But if I had to go ahead and say the least, I wouldn't mind. I don't like. I like 100%ing this. I mean, I never 100% of this game. I should really say. And since I did 100% Donkey Kong 64, then you know, and I'm a masochistic frick, I might as well go ahead and um, you know, end up 100%ing this as well. Cause why the hell not? Cause why? What, what do I have to lose? Like seriously, what do I have to lose aside from my insanity? Hey. It ain't sunshine, because at least I'm not getting a freaking postcard. At least I'm getting something. Well, sort of. So yeah, this room used to sport the wonderful Triforce chart of an annoyance, and you can tell because these potions, these pots, end up giving you a bunch of rubies. That's how you can tell that these things used to sport the wonderful and notorious Triforce charts. And remember, you had to have eight Triforce charts, also making so that you also have to have a buttloads of rubies to be able to actually give to Tingle. That's actually the other reason why I'm actually gaining money, because not only am I not finished with the auction, I have never maxed out the ruby count, and I don't know how to even max them out. Unless, you know, the only way to max them out is potentially just getting all the random rings. Alright, you know what? I am sick and tired of you standing here. Why are you here? My problem is you have no- Ugh! You are so stupid! Do you, do you need me to- Wait, did I- Wait a minute, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Did I, like, not be able to allow you? Uh, before I actually go out of my way to do that, let me not fall off. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and hit this. Okay, I gotta remember that I can't go ahead and actually just simply just do that because this the arrows actually follow physics. Alright, let me try that again without failing. What the absolute Christ. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Also, don't stand where the... Whoa! Okay... Game just had like a major slowdown for a second. It was like, whoa, Nelly. Alright, let me actually get that idiot up there so, you know, he can get himself a job. Because, you know what? I feel for you, brother. Because we all need jobs. And I don't even know how the hell you even got here, to be honest. That's like the real question I'm trying to figure out. Like, how the hell did you even get up here? Like, how? 
Whatever. Hey! Dude, what's up? Link, you know Medley, don't you? Yes, I think something weird happened to her. It stinks, too, because I went all to all the trouble picking this flower to surprise her. Aw, I'm sorry, dude. Even though the cutscene did not show that you had a flower, so I just have to take your word for it. I mean, they do show that he had a cutscene. I mean, they did show that he has the flower right now, but in terms of the cutscene, it didn't really show that he had a flower. So, I don't really know if he's lying to me or not, and, you know, all that other stuff. Don't worry, you see, you'll see, you see your girlfriend Medley soon. As of right now, it's time to speak to the postman's ancestor. 20 or more. Oh, I can beat that. Boosh! One. I love this minigame because it is so exhilarating that it ends up showing you that you have the accuracy of a god. Like, no kidding, man. You just gotta go ahead and be good, 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 excellent, wonderful, fantastic, notorious. Yay, Tingle is the last person. Yay. That's 28 letters. Splendid. Super. Hmm, your salary this time is one ruby. Come I any time. I mean it. The better you do, the higher your salary will become. Do I have to go ahead and actually get like 30 to be able to let that guy get up here or what? If you can sort 25 letters or more, your salary will really jump. Okay. I can do that. No. Oh, crap. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Ah, uh, damn. See, the thing about this minigame is that, you know, it's pretty easy, but the problem is, is that you basically have to... I'm not going to get in this first try, because I... What the hell? Okay. Nope. Damn you, Tingle! Damn it, 24! 24 letters. Well, you said it went by one brewery. The more letters you... Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, I'm gonna cut until I actually complete this. So, be right back, guys. Lesbians. Booyah! 30! 30 letters! You have amazing coordination! Seriously, I'm stupendified! Incredible... Ah, why? I've got to give you more money. Yay! Three movies. Yay. Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Hmm. I can't believe I didn't complete this side quest to begin with. Yes, I sure have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helpers just arrived. Yeah, he seems to be down there since I've been in this part. So, yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm like a freaking idiot. So, after doing that, and you come back, the guy will actually now be there. Weren't you supposed to get yourself a platform to the top? Yeah, I know, but you know what? We, we got side quests. Side quests is more important than anything else. Remember, guys, world building. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, man, I'm the new part-timer. Green clothes, a green hat. Pardon me for asking, but you're Link, aren't you? No. Aha! I knew it! You're a legend among the part-timers here. Well, the game is called The Legend of... Oh, it's called The Legend of Zelda. Never mind. <laughs> Just once. I'd love to see the 25-letter sword. Oh, you want to you wanna see that, too? You guys have some... Okay. I recommend doing um, the D-pad because if you use the D-pad, you actually will be able to go ahead and sort the letters easily. Mind you, in the GameCube section, you would not be able to do this because the GameCube's D-pad was small as balls. But for here, it's not too bad, you know. So suck it, Tingo. Yeah, thirty-one. Oh my gosh! 31 letters! Amazing, man! I'm so impressed! Seriously, man! I've gotta tell my mom back home all about this! I just gotta! I've got a favor to ask you, man! I'm still new here, so I'm not allowed to leave. So, would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me? Thanks a lot, man! We got a letter! Yay! Keep it in the delivery box. I guess I could just throw it in here with all the other letters, but I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. Is that really? I mean, I did work as a mail handler before, but is it really against the... I mean, is that really mail handling? Because you're technically sorting the mail. And as a mail handler, handler, you're sorting the mail, 
But you're more so throwing the mail inside random areas for no apparent reason. Yeah. I can't really say anything for mail handling because it really defers, but I guess it's for postmen, I should more so say. Postmen's is different, but, you know, for this case, it's a little bit, you know, better. Good morning. Welcome to another personal service. Yeah, I like to... I like to give you a letter, please. <sighs> please, somebody I don't have to pay for you. This postman is... is na yeah, of course, why not? Do you wish to send? Yes. The parcel has hereby been accepted delivery. Thank you for using the Island Postal Service. We appreciate your business. Now that we've done that, we do have to wait for a bit for the actual letter to go ahead and cough up whatever the reward is going to be. And don't worry, the reward is actually worth it. I don't think we have to go back to him, though, to go ahead and tell him that we delivered the letter, because that'd be kind of stupid. <laughs> but yeah, the postman that was previously here, he's actually more so of a reference to... Oh, here you are. Hello. You, you just... I Can I speak to you? Yes, I can. Hello there, Link. Are you holding up all right throughout your travels? Not too worry? So, do you want to give it a go? Sure, why not? Okay, then, if you sort one... Yeah, why not? You know what? Because why? Because I am an oppressive shrew. I've done it before. I can do it many times again. Why am I wasting my damn time in this friggin' thing? Because this minigame is friggin' awesome. I love it. Seriously, this is like my favorite minigame in the game. <laughs> is that really sad that my favorite minigame is a friggin' is a is a job that I probably would really, really fucking enjoy if this was the if this is how you did it? I mean, seriously, this would be friggin' hilarious and exciting. Oh, I couldn't get 30. Oh well. 29, just as good as ever. You give me goosebumps, you know that? Thank you. Now, high, how high do you think you can push? Well, not that high since you barely give me any time. What's up, man? My co-workers let me, know, let me in on a little secret, man. All letters addressed to you are specifically delivered to the post box closest to you, no matter what island you happen to be. I've heard all about the work you did here. You've really been through some rough times, man. Way to go. Yeah. Not like I, I took down a very weird bug lava dragon thing. I call it a bug lava dragon because I got no other names for it. <laughs> okay, let's now go to... Let me see. How long would that actually really take? Oh, wait. Super Jiggly Boxy Boast Box. I I'm sorry, that didn't make any sense. And as we end up getting our... Ca Ten. Why must we pay for what we need? Yo, how you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back there in the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but but my postman skills are so weak. I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I thought I'd ever be good as you, man. So anyways, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, and I figured I'd just have to write you a letter. It sounds like you're doing some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. You can probably tell that I had no idea what to write. Yeah, I've noticed. But hey, I figured at least I could do what be sending you a letter of encouragement. So yay, man, yay! Go, man, go! Go, go, go! Never gonna give you up. Never gonna lose your hope. And while I don't make much, I'm sending you a wage. I'm really sorry I had to send this COD, but I guess that's the price of fame. Take care. Thanks again, boss. Wow, we got ourselves a fan. Oh, he gave me um, 20 rubies. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's nice. Every fan donation is appreciated, okay? I'm sorry if I had to sound like I was really disappointed. I'm really not. That's technically what um, fans actually are when you actually end up having them. They're actually pretty nice and pretty kooky. Anyways, guys, I'm actually going to end the part here because I wasted my time doing male stupidity. So in the next episode, we're actually then going to go to the platform to get the platform chart. And then after that... We'll be um, um, figuring out some other stuff and doing some other side quests. So I've been CCX. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. See you all next time. Laters.